What's up guys, it's Team Louie, and um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Um, if you've been keeping up with me on Twitter uh, or on social media, you've noticed that uh, I've been losing a lot of weight. I've lost 93 pounds as of today. Um, that's in about six months, and that's kind of what I'm going to be getting into today uh, as to how that started and really how uh, All In Weekend, All In and StarCast Weekend really changed and, and saved my life uh, for the better. Uh, so I'm just going to get right into it. I need to get a, give you a little bit of backstory. About a year ago, they announced All In, and me being a retail worker that also edited video on the side, and also being a wrestling fan, I got really excited for the event. And they weren't really taking advantage of doing a whole lot of video stuff, aside from, you know, the, the normal uh, being the elite type stuff. So I decided I was going to go ahead and make something that could resemble a promo video for All In and StarCast. So I edit the video and I had been in contact with a guy by the name of Dave Hancock um, who you may know as the social media guy for StarCast and uh, I sent him the video when I was done with it but before I uploaded it I was just hoping somebody would see it and be like hey man this is really cool and then share it and whatnot and maybe I can get some work out of it maybe not um, but as long as people enjoyed it that's really all I was really looking for at that time uh, but Dave Hancock goes ahead and he sends it to Conrad Thompson and to uh, Cody Rhodes and they both just loved it and uh, Cody actually ended up sharing it from the uh, the all-in Twitter page uh, you may have seen it and um, You know Cody just uh, Cody never knew who I was He just knew that a fan made a video for all-in and here it is and Cody's like well This is great tweet, you know and uh, uh, But for the longest time Cody had no idea who I was um, but then uh, Conrad liked it so much so that he actually had me do some videos for StarCast, which was really cool of him. Uh, some guy he didn't know who just did a video that he happened to really enjoy. So I did two or three videos uh, hyping up StarCast that you may have seen as well. Um, and in doing so, Conrad did help me get to, uh, you know, to All In and StarCast. Now, I, I did already have a ticket to All In. I used my tax returns to buy it. Um, <clears throat> you know, I wasn't making a whole lot of money at the time, so the trip was really up in the air, but Chicago is driving distance from me. It's only about six hours. But while I was there, you know, I, uh, I was lucky enough to meet Cody, uh, thanks to Dave Hancock. He actually set me up to, you know, to meet Cody because I couldn't really afford any of the, uh, the meet and greets that they were doing, but, uh, Hancock, you know, helped me out and he's like, here, you can go ahead and get in the back of the line for this one. So I waited and I talked to Cody and I'd let him know that, hey... Uh, I'm the guy who did this video that you, uh, that you shared. I really appreciate it. You know, uh, I was going through a rough time at that point, so it's just like you know, it was such an honor for you know for uh, for you to share my video and you know to like it enough to make kind of the unofficial official promo video for All In. He's like, yeah, man, that's great. Thanks so much. You know, uh, it was really nice about it. He followed me on Twitter. Um, uh, so at least he knew who I was at that point. Um, but then uh, I thought, you know, the StarCast was the best weekend of my life. I don't want to make that, <laughs> I want to make that perfectly clear. Um, but upon seeing video, I appeared in the background of videos and, you know, certain things that they appeared on Twitch uh, and, uh, you know, things like that. And I would see myself and just be just kind of disgusted with how I looked. And, um, you know, imagine how other people may have felt seeing me as well. Um, but, uh, you know, I ended up taking a picture with Cody at that event, and I remember being really annoyed that uh, the guy who took the photo took a long ways photo where you can see, you know, you can see all of my full body, and I was just so disgusted. I'm like, oh man, I don't want to share this photo because look at me, but I do want to share this photo because it's with, you know, it's with Cody who's putting this whole event together. But later that day, I actually ended up running across Diamond Dallas Page. Who, if you know me, you know that I've worked with and for Diamond Dallas Page in the past. I lived in Atlanta for six months working on the Jake the Snake documentary. Um, you know, wasn't quite old enough or mature enough to really be in that position. Uh, Jake and I didn't get along, so I ended up going home, you know, way too soon. Um, which is probably for the best, honestly. Um, but... You know, I, you know, I lost a bunch of weight while I was there. I lost about 125 pounds and uh, just pissed it all away as soon as I got home, you know. Um, call it laziness or pettiness or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, as, as soon as I got home, it's it just a steady track to gaining it all back. Uh, but Dallas sees me and he's just like, and only the way DDP can. He's like, bro, you look horrible. And I'm like, 
Thanks, Dallas. Thanks a lot. He's like, did you gain all the weight back and then some? And I said, yeah, I think I did. And I didn't know exactly how much I weighed at that point, but I knew that I was more than what I was whenever I went to his house. So he tells me, he's like, how old are you now, Louie? And I say, 31. And he said, bro, you don't take control of your life and fix this. By the time that you are 40, you're either going to be near 600 pounds or you're going to be dead. And I really took that to heart. Uh, Because it was true, and it was one of those things I just kind of accepted at this fact, you know. Well, I'm just never going to lose weight, and I'm just going to be doomed to fail for my entire life, or whatever it was. Um, But, um, you know, that whole weekend really kind of struck a chord with me that um, I really needed to get in shape. So, I started out just sort of planning my meals ahead, um, so I wasn't eating fast food all the time, and was saving money on food in the long run. Um, so that I could eat a little bit healthier at home. Uh, But fast forward a couple months, and I ended up going to the doctor for a cold, and she took a blood test, and while I was there, she determined that I had diabetes and also high blood pressure. I'd been diagnosed with high blood pressure before, uh, but, you know, it was one of those things where I got the official diagnosis and what have you. Um, So it really kind of sunk in there. You know, if I don't take control of this now, then it's... I'm, this is the end of my life, just right now, and um, and I didn't want that, so I decided to just turn it around uh, right then and right there. And since then, I have started doing DDPY. I've been walking. I got a fitness watch to help me track my steps and my heart rate. Um, I have been doing Nintendo Switch fitness boxing as well as Just Dance. Uh, I've been broadcasting several of my workouts live on Twitch. Um, so people can join me. So, you know, if you, DDP gave me permission to stream my workouts on Twitch as long as I don't save them so people can go back and, you know, just do this stuff for free. So you can come and do DDPY with me or just dance or whatever you want live on Twitch if you want to. And, uh, ever since then, every time I've tested my blood sugar, I've been well below, um, where I need to be. And I'm getting a test soon to determine if my A1C has gone down. Uh, But since I went back and saw my doctor again for my 90-day checkup, she took me off of my blood pressure medicine. And since all in, I have lost 93 pounds. All because of that one photo of me and Cody that I was ashamed of. And Diamond Dallas Page kind of smacking me in the head with some some knowledge. And uh, I really can't thank those guys enough. So this would not have happened without me doing that video, Dave Hancock liking it, Dave Hancock sharing it with Conrad and Cody, Cody and Conrad liking it, Cody sharing it, Conrad having me do other videos and bringing me in. Um, So in a lot of ways, All In and StarCast saved my life um, for the better. I mean, I still have a long journey to go because I'm still really overweight. I'm still obese, Uh, but I'm way better off than I was. I'm almost at 100 pounds uh, and I'll probably be that way probably by the end of March, probably by the middle of March. Um, But, you know, little goals. We have small goals to get there. So this is what it's all about. Well, maybe not all about, but this is what a big portion of it is about for my small goal. This is the All Elite Wrestling zip-up hoodie that uh, I saw whenever they first announced All Elite Wrestling. Um, And let me kind of show you. Um, It doesn't fit me. And I bought it knowing that it wouldn't fit me because they didn't release it in my size. You know, wrestlers release jackets and hoodies and things like that, but most of the time they don't come in my size. And it's a bummer because I would like to buy one. Like the Cody Rhodes uh, Nightmare Family Jacket. I really wanted one of those, but, you know, they only came in 2X. But, as you can see here, the jacket doesn't quite go all the way around me. It goes to about here. You know, it's close. And I can actually zip it up if I want to, but it's it's still kind of awkward to wear. And so, in that case, I feel just a little bit awkward wearing it in public. So I typically only wear it in the house. Um, but you can see here, it's, it's a little bit tight, it's a little bit snug, but we're getting there. And so what I'm thinking is that I will be there by Memorial Day weekend, double or nothing. Now, I did just have surgery. My appendix uh, betrayed my body and decided that it was time to go. So, uh, 
I just had to have emergency surgery. So um, it's going to be a, a bit of a, an ordeal um, to make it to Las Vegas for StarCast and Double or Nothing. My first flight ever if I'm able to make it. But I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to. And by that time, I'm going to fit into this freaking hoodie. And you're all going to be able to tell me how good I look in it. So, Cody, Conrad, Hancock, which by the way, um, by the way of Wrestling Travel uh, Company on Twitter, um, you may be able to uh, to get tickets to StarCast and a hotel, uh, as well as uh, Double or Nothing, and use my friend's code, Hancock, to get yourself a nice little discount there. I think they're going to be able to help me uh, afford this trip a little bit easier. So, uh, that's going to be Wrestling Travel on Twitter if you want to check them out. Um, but you'll all be able to see me, hopefully, Double or Nothing weekend, and tell me how good I look in my jacket that fits. I think I'm about 30 pounds away. Um, I will be updating this uh, probably once a month, maybe once every few weeks, because my progress has started to slow down. But it's time to do the work and be elite. And to all this excess body fat that I don't want or need and am hoping to get rid of, I must bid you adieu. Goodbye, mwah, and good night, bang. Never look back, no, never say die. Always attack with the warrior.